Jonathan Snyder, and this is um, the Gates of Corvail. It's one of probably my biggest medieval mock I've built yet. Um, it was for like a uh, my own little storyline for uh, two certain empires. Um, this one's basically just depicting the biggest city, the gates out uh, side of the city, and we have some people coming out from a uh, raid, a uh, small raid. We have some people inside getting ready to do some uh, larger battle, and then we have some guys down here getting ready to. Uh, uh, they're kind of like spying, I guess. Um, I wanted to, because I was building it during the fall, I wanted to more or less get some nice fall colors. Um, so I have a nice uh, orange tree losing its leaves, that kind of thing, pumpkins, different color trees, so a nice, nice large variety of stuff. The um, uh, guy with the carrots down here? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know what to do because I didn't have too much of a farm, just pumpkins. So I thought carrots would be a nice little addition. I don't know if chickens eat carrots or not, but you know, I was thinking maybe. I mean, it's medieval times, they'll let them eat whatever. Um, the windmill was something that I wanted to do from the beginning. Um, so I kind of had to make my own design for it and everything. And I decided to do sideways stonework and everything for that. Um, so that was a fun little one to do. Does it actually spin there? It does. It does like a nice little spin. The top might fall off or something, but it kind of rubs up against the top uh, roof or something. I might have to take some studs off of that. Um, but uh, so then take us through your cliff work here as well because that's something that definitely catches your eye yeah so the cliff work it took about three weeks to do completely uh, it was a lot because there's a lot of different types of slopes being used and everything a lot of different angles more or less one type of consistent um, but I enjoyed using like bigger rock pieces and everything for it to give it some sort of um, texture and everything for it um, but it was a long time for that, and you kind of get tired of it after a while. Just three weeks of building rock work solely is kind of, kind of rough and tiring. So it's like a little mind numbing or something. Oh, yeah, to... I felt like quitting for a little bit just because do I really want to do more rock work? And it was very much so a test of my endurance for that. So I appreciate the the color differences there, light and dark gray. I think that definitely helps you know add a little variation to yeah. it. Um, I want to do that because I've seen Mark Fallworth do that as well. And he's kind of like my mentor, so I felt like it would give some sort of good texturing as well for it, um, some sort of weathering maybe. Um, but I thought it turned out nicely. I had never done it yet before, so. And then we can move back to the sort of castle wall here, and I love what you've done with the the windows to create that cross shape with like the cheese slopes. I think that's such a great yeah. technique. That's a uh, one of my signature things. I've done that in basically every mock I've um, built yet with any sort of castle design. Um, I like doing the little crenellations or something, um, the arches along the wall to give the wall, wall a bit of texture because usually it's just like a bit blank and uh, just straight. So give it some sort of cool factor to it as well. Um, then the towers, there's four of them. So like since it's up on top of a hill, um, the, the archers, when they're getting raided, they'll be able to shoot down on them and everything so that it's more of a strategic position to defend. So. And then it almost looks like you could add on to this build on each end and just keep expanding it. Would you yeah. plan to do that? I could, and maybe. I mean, this thing will be up for a long time because i got to take it to other conventions and everything. So that's actually a really good idea that I never actually thought of. So I might have to do that now because of that. But it's definitely able to be expanded for sure. And so, because everything comes apart and everything, so I can easily just do that and make it bigger and better every year. Maybe next year I can have it twice as the size or something like that. So. That would be awesome. I also really love this path you did here. That's not an easy thing to do. You've got a whole bunch yeah. of plates. They're angled. They're, you've got to line them up just perfectly. So yeah, that was a bit of a challenge because where the mock comes apart, it comes out right in the center of where the path is. So trying to figure out how the mock pieces would connect and still look natural as a pathway was really challenging. Um, so, But I thought it turned out pretty nice and everything. So. Uh, yeah. What is the, the inside of sort of your cliffs, mountains here like as, as you built these up? So along the rock work and everything, it's about basically filler brick just to create it sturdy so that it doesn't fall apart or anything as it's being transported. But for the majority of it, it's just hollowed and as it gets further to the top, it's plates underneath that I can make the uh, top landscaping for and everything. Were there any other details behind the wall there that you wanted to point out? Behind the wall, there isn't really much. Um, it's mostly just like um, terrain and everything, dark tans, that kind of thing. I didn't want to put too much behind the walls because that wouldn't make too much sense in my opinion. Um, 
but I was planning on making something, but I decided not to, something like a horse stable or something, but I decided not to go with that. And just, and just put like a bunch of other guys getting ready for something, some sort of battle or something, so. Sure, it's some excellent work here, and yeah, it feels very peaceful, especially when you look at it from the front, it's just a few guys moving through, no big battle, so it's a very nice calm effect you've got going on here. Yeah, it's a nice peaceful time for the Empire, <laughs> even though they're pretty much hated by everybody, <laughs> so. Well, great work. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.